What is up, Tang Gang? Welcome back to another video. It's so good to be back. Uh, thank you so much for sticking along this channel, even despite my inactivity. And if you're new here, my name is Anthony. I am a first year medical student. And first things first, I haven't officially told you guys where I ended up for medical school. So I am a medical student at the Columbia University College, uh, Columbia Ver University Vagilis College of Physicians and Surgeons which is essentially Columbia Medical School. Um, been a student here for two months so far, and we just finished our first block. Um, finished my exams this afternoon, feel pretty good about it. Uh, but this video is uh, just a compilation of snippets I took throughout a typical day, sometime a week, uh, a little bit more than a week ago. And I'm gonna voice over uh, basically what I did that day. This is a new format that actually a classmate uh, Caroline, she actually has her own YouTube channel, I'll link below. She inspired me to to give it a shot. So uh, I hope it goes smoothly, I hope you guys like it, and let's just jump in into my day. Morning, Sabrina. First years, great, welcome, welcome, ladies, welcome uh, again. Uh, third years, they're busy. Too.
All right, I just finished up with my first clerkship session with a hematology oncology doctor at the, uh, like one of Columbia's cancer centers. And very interesting cases. Um, and the doctor was very patient, pulled me aside to explain what multiple myeloma is and the different types of pre-cancer conditions. Um, that can lead to multiple myeloma. Uh, and then he presented a case to me about a patient who was experiencing, exhibiting a lot of signs indicative of multiple, my, multiple myeloma. But in the end, like all these signs were actually induced by an overdose, like a chronic overdose of vitamin D pills. That's my school right there, if you can see that glass like panel building that's the main learning center for columbia medical students and dental students um but yeah i haven't gotten to talk with you guys all day i'm planning to add like a talking uh clip at the end of this video to explain basically what i've been up to but it's really nice to be back uh on youtube and talking with you guys um, right now I'm headed to the grocery store, gonna buy some kale, hopefully. They've been out of kale for the last two visits. Okay, so hear me out on this. One for seven eighty nine, or two for seven. Thank you so much. Oh you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not enough. She's a good driver. gas after rebate. A rebate will legally allow Daniel to advertise the cheapest gas in the country. So now I'm reading this article for FCM. Um, I'm going to read this as well as um, an article written by Atul Gawande in preparation for our discussion tomorrow. I forgot to film, but I just watered my plant. Turn it back to its original spot. She's here. Looks pretty happy. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of the format. Um, we'll see if we'll continue it in future videos. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but format aside, I hope this video gave some more insight into what my life looks like these days. Med school definitely is a lot of class and studying, but there is a lot of time also to invest in yourself and your hobbies. Um, and now that I feel a little bit more settled in, uh, I am comfortable studying at home, not feeling obliged to study with my friends. And by being at home, I can intersperse my study sessions with violin playing. And I'm also able to fit in, you know, basketball into my everyday routine, not everyday routine, but like weekly routine. And now I'm finding time to incorporate video making and YouTube uh, back into my schedule. So I'm very grateful that I've been able to adjust and reincorporate um, myself into my life, like my, my hobbies. Um, on another note, I'm, I've been feeling really like motivated and I think that stems from recognizing how great of a privilege and honor 
it is to be studying at Columbia Med School. Um, and motivated not in just an academic like, like class sense, um, but also I'm taking active steps to pursue neurosurgery research. And I actually just shadowed a neurosurgeon today at Milstein Hospital. Um, and I'm doing these things not because I feel pressured to, or there's an external uh, voice like that's like telling us to do this. I, I very much am interested in exploring this further. It's the one specialty that I, I feel actively like called is, is a strong word, but um, drawn, yeah, actively drawn by. Um, but I'm excited to share more about that journey with you guys uh, as we move forward. Um, for the time being, I don't have any other major updates. Life's been good, life's been uh, busy, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, and it's busy with just the right things. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really excited to be back talking with you guys on YouTube, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Tang Gang.